Yes, we are back. I know, I know. Too long in between videos. I'm sorry. I know. But look, man, when I do these videos, you know it's going to come from a real place of emotion. I'm not faking my um, knowledge. I'm not faking my reactions. Nothing. It's all coming from a real, legit place. That's why I only want to do videos when it comes to things that I know what I'm talking about, I care about, I'm interested about, and I've got the time and I ain't going to just rush through it. I feel like it's going to relay good because you guys must, you're going to appreciate real. Real recognises real. Real don't like fake. That's the reason I don't do too many videos, yeah? Plus, I'm not getting paid to do this, right? So, this is pure passion because I'm a man of the people. I'm the people myself, but I'm a man of the people. And I like the beautiful line of communication that these videos create. Speaking of conversations, that can create something beautiful. Tokyo Game Show is coming up pretty much starting tomorrow, yeah? And it's gonna be good, right? For me, Tokyo Game Show is not the type of game um, conference or event where they're going to show brand new games. I feel like you see games at like, what was it? The PlayStation Showcase? I can't remember what it's called, PlayStation Experience or something like that. That's where they show new games, E3. Tokyo Game Show is where they will show gameplay of games that have been announced a couple weeks or days or months ago right that's what i feel Tokyo game show is and then they show us a magical gem that we just didn't even know was coming right but it's always from like um, a japanese studio right like capcom or atlas sega no sega don't do really anything god like do they but you know what I'm talking about, Nintendo or something, Sony. Although Sony is more focused, um, they're like more America focused opposed to um, their Japanese games focused. Like they've kind of changed their direction with that type of stuff, which is unfortunate, but is what it is, it's their company, whatever. But yes, Tokyo Game Show. What happened beginning of September? That's it, there was a leak. A leak where they showed games on a list. Because what happened this year, um, devs are working remotely because of the C virus, right? And there is a streaming service that Nvidia has called GeForce Now. Now, a user actually hacked into that uh, internal database and they pulled a list of games that devs are working on or testing there was bayonetta 3 was in that list you got this was the beginning of september bayonetta 3 crisis 4 god of war 4 bioshock 2022 Kingdom Hearts 4, Resident Evil 4 Remake, Monster Hunter 6, I think it was, and Jackal's Dogma 2. Now, when I first saw this list, I thought to myself, most of these games are way off. God of War, they're not going to show anything to do with God of War this year. Bayonetta, that game is in limbo. Crisis 4. Weren't they having problems with Crisis 2 and 3? Like that company like imploded or something like that. Resident Evil 4 Remake. They just released Resident Evil uh, 3 and Resident Evil 8. That godlike game and they're working on the DLC. Resident Evil 4 Remake. They're not going to talk about nothing or show nothing about that game. So I kind of was not writing it off, but I did think to myself, this is catastrophic for the announcements, right? Because one of the big 
element of game announcements is the excitement it brings, man. Look when they announced Devil May Cry 5. Do you remember that? That lit the internet on fire. The internet gamers collectively lost their minds when Red Devil May Cry 5 was first announced. Wolverine, just a couple weeks ago. Everybody was just so overjoyed and excited because they never saw it coming. And it's Wolverine, damn it. Look at when they announced game God of War. They showed the reveal trailer for God of War. Everybody was just overwhelmed and amazed. Go back to Spider-Man. I think it was 2018? Maybe... I'll say 2018, something like that. When they first showed the trailer of Spider-Man. Unbelievable. I will never forget that feeling. I'll never forget it. Right? That's part of the magic of game announcements. Ruined. This list has ruined everything. Is the list real? We don't know. But it was pulled from an internal data pay, database that GeForce, now NVIDIA, currently has. Beginning of the year, on that list, is God of War. Two weeks later, God of War was announced in the trailer. Bayonetta 3. Not a sniff of it, not a whiff of it. Four weeks later, Bayonetta 3 is announced and shown a massive trailer on Nintendo Direct four weeks later. Already, it's looking like this list is pretty legit. Although I think some things on there were kind of like code. They might be spin-offs of a game, you know, but I don't really know. Like Kingdom Hearts 4 was on the list, right? And... Maybe they're going to do a spin-off of Kingdom Hearts 4. Because I cannot imagine Kingdom Hearts 4 is being made right now. Or maybe it is. We don't know how far ahead these they start working. Production starts on these games. But I know that they're doing, what, Final Fantasy um, 7. The second part of that. They're working on this Final Fantasy Origins that they're working on. They're working on the... What is it? It's the Final Fantasy Online game. I can't remember what it's called. I think it's 14. Like the online. They're still doing like DLC content for that. So they're doing a lot of stuff, man. So I can't imagine them working on Kingdom Hearts 4 right now. But look, who knows? Right? So there's a lot of games. Resident Evil 4. We we pretty much know that they're working on that. Dragon's Dogma 2. Oh boy. Now we kind of knew that they're working on that because my man. It's no, it's no, it's no. Yes. Idiaka it's no. Yeah. He did say after Death May Cry had been released, he said, We are I am now working on a new project with my team. Now when he said he's working on a new project, immediately you know it's Dragon's Dogma. Because that is a game that he loves that game and it's his original creation. It's a brand new IP and it was very successful. And he did always say he's wanted to work on it. And when Devil May Cry 5 was being um, almost coming out, he did say he was given a choice by the higher ups. What game would he like to work on? Devil May Cry 5, Jungle's Dogma. He chose Devil May Cry 5. So we kind of know Dragon's Dogma 2 was coming, but this kind of makes it even more solidified and real. If you play Dragon's Dogma, you know what this means, bro. This is crazy. Dragon's Dogma is like one of the best games I've ever played. The experience of playing that game, it had a story, it had a massive open world, it had incredible combat and skills. You had fought monsters, dragons, um, wyverns, chimeras, undead monsters, um, necromancers. You fought all types of crazy, extravagant, monsters you there was dungeons there was 
that game was incredible. You had raid bosses. This was back in the day, man. You had raid bosses in that game where you could fight with multiple people against a monster that it took like 24 hours to kill that monster. Bro, bro. There was a system where you had pawns in the game because your character, the main character was a guy called an Arisen whose destiny was going to become a dragon. He got killed and Arisen's always resurrect. They arise again and they are these people called pawns and their existence is to be companions of the arisen now if i'm playing the game and my friend is playing the game he's got his own pawn i could go into a special realm and download his pawn into my game so i could have myself my arisen my pawn and his or their or his or, or their pawn in my game and then if that pawn does well like they help me out they do really well they don't die i can actually give them a good rating say that that's a good pawn and then when i release them to go back to uh, my friend they get rewards so my friend will actually get rewards for me giving them a thumbs up or whichever you can do it with random people as well that game was incredible the armor the different classes so i'm excited about jacker's dogma I seriously doubt we'll see at Tokyo Game Show. But it's just the fact that who knows? Maybe we will, bro. That's what's so incredible about that list. Who knows what's going to come? Would Capcom show Resident Evil 4 Remake? The Resident Evil 8 DLC? Oh, man, I cannot wait. I am excited. If they show Resident Evil 8, man, DLC, that would be so cool, dude. I love Resident Evil 8. That game is incredible, bro. Right, um, Kingdom Hearts, doubt that's going to come. Monster Hunter 6. I don't know how far off that is. But it seems like they showed Bayonetta 3 and God of War. Who knows? Who knows? Right, and NVIDIA, they did respond to that leak. And they said it was an internal list. That was there purely for tracking and testing. Um, and the list is not an announcement and not a confirmation. And then they removed all access to that list. And in that response, they didn't deny anything. So, let's see what happens, man. Let's see what happens. Um, but yeah, at the Tokyo Game Show, um, what so we'll go through who has been announced so far there's a lot of people way too many developers have been announced um, so i'm just going to go through the main the big ones and what i would like to see so let's look at capcom first yeah so capcom they're going to show something to street fighter like some type of dlc and they're going to have like probably like a sp special invite tournament or something like that and we may see Definitely going to see some Monster Hunter Rise. Uh, because they've got some godlike looking new expansion. Expansion! Coming out for uh, Monster Hunter Rise. Something to do with Monster Hunter Stories. Probably is going to come out as well. I don't know if they'll show anything for Monster Hunter 6. I doubt it. I seriously doubt it. Right? But I live in hope. Resident Evil 4 Remake. That will break the internet, bro. That will absolutely just rip a giant vortex dimensional rift in the internet if they do um resident evil 4 remake and it is resident evil 2 level i don't even want to talk about it i'm so excited right and chuckles dogma that's all i really see for capcom to be absolutely honest but i said as i said my wish list is chuckles dogma 2 and Resident Evil 4 Remake, which is on the list. Monster Hunter 6, again, they just released Rise and Monster Hunter Stories. I think that's enough Monster Hunter for one year. Just saying, yeah. And then we look at Square Enix, yeah. Now, Square Enix, they have confirmed that they're going to show 
uh, for Spoken. That's that Isekai game. That game looks godlike. And the fact that it's an Isekai game, bro, let me in. Let me in. So I'm excited about that Forsaken, which you know we're definitely going to see. Guardians of the Galaxy, I'm hella excited for that game. If I'm honest, not too happy that the game you're only going to be able to play with Quill. You're not going to play with um, Gamora or Ra Rocket Raccoon or Drax. Not happy about that. But the game looks godlike, so I'm definitely excited about that. Um, there's been no announcement of Final Fantasy, I think is it... 16? I think it's 16. I can't remember what number they're on, but anyway. Resident Evil... Oh, sorry. Final Fantasy... 16, I think it is. Let's just say 16. Yeah. I know that they're going to be talking with the creator, the guy that's currently in charge of Final Fantasy 16, and the original creator of the Final Fantasy franchise. And they're going to be doing like a little talk or discussion or podcast, whatever it is. It's going to be an English channel which is translating what they're saying. So we'll see how that goes, right? They're gonna talk about it in some way or another. They're definitely gonna pop up, but they're more going to be talking about Final Fantasy and their perspectives and their ideas, which I'm hella interested in. If they do show Final Fantasy 16, I would like it if it was something new. If it's just going to be an extended trailer or kind of just showing us the kind of same stuff again. I don't know if I want to see that. If you're going to show me something from Final Fantasy 16, it has to be a big one. Just like the first, the only trailer for Final Fantasy 16 was massive. That's what I want them to do if they're going to show anything. If they're going to show anything massive that's surprising and new, don't show anything at all. My personal opinion. Yeah. And I know that definitely they're going to show Final Fantasy Origins, yeah? Yep. I'm interested in that game. Now, I only have a PS4. I don't have a PS5. So, I'm not super interested in that game. Because I don't have access to it. But I'm, I care to look at it. It's same thing like Final Fantasy VII Intergrade or Interlude or whatever it's called, yeah? looks godlike i was kind of interested to look at it but i'm not really paying too much attention to it because i don't have it i don't have a ps5 second i can get access to a ps5 i'm on it but until then anything that's on the ps5 i'm not really paying attention to it because i don't have access to it and that's what i'm like if i don't have access to the game or access to the technology don't show it to me i'm not interested keep away from it i know weird right but for me makes sense so um yeah and to be honest with, to be honest with square in it i don't really have too much of a wish list other than if you're going to show me something with final fantasy 16 it has to be brand new has to be awesome uh microsoft is going to be there yeah um snk is going to be there that's going to be king of fighters right they're going to show king of fighters the new game that's the new king of fighters that's coming out uh probably gonna have a exhibition showing gameplay and like the best king of fighters players are probably have access to the game right now they probably have access to the game this week yeah like early this week they've had access to it maybe by remote or somehow they've got it to them and they're trending up on that game to put on a, a godlike exhibition because you can't just throw them in on the deep end and expect to show the game in a good way because it's got a lot of brand new systems in it. So that's going to be exciting. I can't wait to see that for um, the new King of Fighters game. And who else is going to be there? Bandai Namco. Bandai Namco. Um, probably going to be something with dragons. I'm sorry. Bandai Namco is probably going to show something with, yeah, Dragon Ball. Yeah, one of the Dragon Balls. I don't think there's going to be anything with the Dragon Ball Fighters. I think there's going to be more on Dragon Ball Kakarot. Yeah, so going to show something from that. 
I'd love to see something with um, Skylar Nexus. That would be incredible. Maybe some DLC. That Skylar Nexus game is godlike. That is one of the most godlike games I'm not hearing too many people talk about. Yeah, and maybe Tales of Arise. Maybe some type of DLC. Something like that. That would be awesome. That's another godlike game. But... Namco Bandai are they they they're the gods of anime games currently. Yeah, more for the foreseeable future. Let's be honest. Yeah. So I would like I don't know what they're gonna bring, man. So I'm excited just to see whatever Bandai Namco do. Cause I'm just stating the obvious, saying tra um, Dragon Ball, right? Dragon Ball game. That's stating the obvious. Surprise me. Surprise me. So yep. That's going to be cool. Um, I know Arc System Works is going to be there. I kind of don't know what they're going to show us. I mean, the obvious thing to me would be Guilty Gear Strive. A new character for Guilty Gear Strive. No, no. So that's going to be interesting. I did know that they are working on a new game. I can't remember what it's called. Dungeon something or something like that, right? That was shown a little bit of and then it was leaked and then they just shut it off. Like they must have just banned it from the YouTube or whichever. Copyright copyright strikes everywhere. Yeah, because you can't find that trailer of that game anywhere on YouTube anyway. Right? Uh, so yeah, they might show that game. That game looked pretty good. And yeah, that's all I can really think of, to be honest with you. But yeah, the Tokyo Game Show should be good, man. I'm excited about it. Um, oh yeah, also, you do have um, Sega and Atlas, right? And I cannot imagine anything that they're going to bring that I would be interested in. So if they do do something that is interesting, cool. If they don't, didn't expect much from Sega anyway. Yeah. Atlas, to be absolutely honest with you, they've already given me this guy a six. I'm happy, 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 happy. Right? So, let's see what's going to come from those guys, man. Uh, but I would say I'm very fascinated to see, not to hear about Far Fantasy 16. Because it's so important that they learn from Final Fantasy 15. That pile of garbage. The game. That split itself into a movie, an anime, a game, and four bits of DLC. Yeah. Worst strategy for a game in history ever. You had so many different pieces of content, and every single version of that content, the characters were, it was like pure character assassination, and they were the definition of inconsistency yeah i want to see in a final fantasy game a game that has just got a good story no final fantasy 16 anime no final fantasy 16 movie no final fantasy 16 dlc tell a full story don't tell me bits and bobs of a disjointed story and then throwing DLC a year later that fills in those gaps in still a disjointed way to try to complete a very incomplete picture, but you just make it more complicated. None of that Final Fantasy 15 garbage, yeah? And then leaving like the best bits of the game until the ending of the game. And then the characters that have the most godlike development, their, oh, their godlike development is only told to us through. And people talking about her or talking about him in past tense. I'm talking about, we all know what I'm talking about, Gladiolus' sister. Yeah. In that game, she was kind of like a normal, sweet girl and um, sister to Gladiolus. But then in the future, after the time skip, she was known as the legendary demon hunter. And they spoke about her all the time of what she's done for the people and how incredible she is. And they never showed her. Winding me up. Winding me up. But let's not digress. I'm not going... No matter what happens, 
I'm not going to buy Final Fantasy 16 immediately because I've been burnt way too much by people that have uh, promised me stuff and the game has turned up to Cyberpunk 2077, Final Fantasy 15. I've been burnt and when I've been burnt, I've been burnt bad. That's all I want to say about that. Tokyo Game Show 2021 is going to start tomorrow. I'm excited which is a couple hours from this video and however long ago if you're watching this in the future if it's October something like October 10 it's already passed and I appreciate you watching the video but if not we're gonna have some fun clear warriors that's all I really want to say about that Tokyo game show that is coming up I'm a hell of excited about it. I hope you are too. Let me know what your predictions are. If you're expecting to see anything. Is there anything I've missed from the list when it comes to um, Arxis Systems, Sega, Bandai, SNK, Microsoft, Capcom, Square Enix? Have I missed anything? Let me know. So yeah, Warriors, until my next video, I want to say take care, stay blessed, and um, yeah. Look out for my next video because if they do show some godlike videos, I'm going to be reacting to stuff. I'm going to be talking about stuff. Um, I'm going to be covering this Tokyo Game Show. So if I see anything that I'm, I care about and I'm in my house to react to it, we're going to get into it. Warriors, thank you. Take care. Stay blessed. And um, stay safe. Laters.